So now then ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. As always I am your humble host from Williams and I hope you are having a smashing day just like myself. Today's quick little trailer reaction we're going to be reacting to the brand new Daniel Craig James Bond No Time to Die trailer. This will be the final trailer before the film releases here in the UK on September the 30th. It's obviously directed by uh, Kari Joji Fukunaga who I haven't, I've got to be honest, I haven't really seen a lot of his films. Um, Beasts of No Nation is one, I think he worked on it. But other than that, I've not really seen a lot of his films or heard a lot of his films. But it's shaping up to be one of the biggest movies of the year, as long as it stays on its date and doesn't move due to COVID issues and the like. So, uh, yeah, uh, starring Daniel Craig. This is going to be Daniel Craig's last ever James Bond movie. He's probably been the best. I know that's debated between Roger Moore, um, <laughs> Sean Connery, where my brain decides to work, um, and probably for some people Pierce Brosnan. I'm not entirely sure. I like Pierce Brosnan, so um, yeah, he's he's definitely up there. Some people don't think he's up for debate and think he is the best. Some people don't. Um, but yeah, he's also starring Rami Malek, who's been amazing the last few years. Got some really good roles. Leia do who's in the last film. Uh, Lashana Lynch, who's playing like the new 007 that takes over after James Bond retires. She was also in uh, Captain Marvel as uh, Maria Rambeau. And then the usual cast that we've seen in uh, Spectre, Skyfall. Uh, ben Whishaw as Q. Naomi Harris as Moneypenny. Jeffrey Wright as um, Felix Slater. Christoph Waltz is uh, Ernst Stavro Bofeld again, and Ray Fiennes is uh, M. So, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to this trailer. I haven't had a chance to see it yet, so I thought I'd save it for his, its own reaction. Um, if I look a little bit out of colour or out of shape, I do have a bit of a stomach bug today. So if I do feel a bit tired or my reactions aren't as good, then um, I do apologise for that. But I wanted to get this content out for you guys. Also, this is going to be the first of kind of a double upload today. Uh, the Red Notice trailer, that, uh, that's uh, the new Netflix film, Red Notice, that uh, Ryan Reynolds, uh, <coughs> that Ryan Reynolds, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and uh, Gal Gadot have are starring in. Uh, totally lost track of thoughts then. This is a totally brand new setup as well. I'm running everything off of my stream deck. So... Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to see, as we call them, Deadpool, Wonder Woman, and either Hobbs or uh, Black Adam. So, yeah, look forward to that late, a little bit later on in the day. But for now, we are going to be reacting to the brand new No Time to Die trailer. So, let me... I'm a bit unorganised today. I'm kind of doing this like a live stream. Um, so yeah, so this is all running off my stream deck, so I'm having a couple of problems and this is the first time running it. But yes, anyway, let's, without further ado and without any more bullshit, let's get into the trailer. I need to pull that up. So in three, two, one, bang. Ooh. Any thug can kill. Ah, I get this. This is a flashback to all the previous movies that Daniel Craig was in because of it being his last one. That's cool. Well, I understand double O's have a very short life expectancy. Yeah, he's not wrong. You are a kite dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. Is this really what you want? Always alone? Can I just say, why does the um, cinematography in all of the James Bond movies just look so good? It's just so on point. Like they always hire the best directors, the best cinematographers, the best um, composers. They literally always get the best, and it's so good. Like um, I know a lot of my friends that watch films aren't really big James Bond fans, but then I point out to him how many uh, good directors that have gone on to do other things have started with James Bond. They're kind of shocked. So, uh, yeah, let's carry this on. Oh. There's Mr. Malik, I gather. 
I used to be able to get into a room with the enemy. And now they're just floating in the ether. When our secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. Oh, oh my God. Target enough people. And the people become the weapon. Who is he? James, you don't know what this is. So I'm still not sure whether Rami Malek is Doctor now or not. That's the big, uh, what's the word? That's the big uh, rumor going around that Rami Malek is Doctor No. I don't know. <laughs> See what I did there? But I am really looking forward to this film. Um, it's probably apart from many many saints in Newark and Shang Chi, which I'm going to see tomorrow. If this comes out on the second of September, which is Thursday, I will be going to see Shang Chi tomorrow. So I am really looking forward to this, to be honest. So um, that many saints in Newark, I think Respect is coming out over in this country, the Ruth Franklin documentary, and this all in September. This is shaping up to be a pretty good um, month for movies. Not as good as October, obviously, but yeah. Anyway. James Bond, licensed to kill, in love with Madeline Swan. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Only your skills die with your body. How's he cloning himself? Life is all about leaving something behind, isn't it? Come on, Bond. Now, Where the hell are you? I want to just quickly on that, right? I think. Unlike the, uh, the uh, Pierce Brosnan films and a lot of like the uh, Connerys, well, not so much Connery because Connery was a bit more serious at the beginning anyway. Roger Moore's and all that were a lot more campy and he did a lot more weird stuff like cloning and <sighs> Jaws was weird for a start and many other like, uh, there's so many weird villains and weird things that happen in James Bond, but... The Daniel Craig side of, uh, the, since we've had Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, uh, Spectre, and now No Time to Die, it's very, very focused on realism. They've tried to be as realistic as possible. I think I kind of went out the window a little bit in um, Spectre, which I haven't, admittedly, I haven't seen in a little while. But this just feels a bit more, if that is cloning, which it very much looks like it is, that's a bit very big step for these kind of realistic films so far but yeah let's uh, get back on with it James. Okay. October 8th for the States is that Joe Gilgood? Don't do this. Lynch. There will be nothing left to save. And Armus, what I more do you want? This. You have a flow like this. No. Oh, it's about a little bit. So it's not re it's it's a lot of footage we have already seen, so there's obviously something we don't want to spoil. Maybe it's the cloning bit which is already spoiled. But let's talk about it. Like honestly, it looks pretty good. I'm not as hyped as I could be for yeah, well, I've got my words in the muddle there. This trailer doesn't to me feel as good as the previous two and the previous two already used a lot of the clips from this trailer anyway. So, eh, I, it's an alright trailer. I'm not going to bash it because it is the final one. But for being the final one, you'd expect a bit more oomph behind it. And to me, it's just not amazing. But yeah, so uh, that's my thoughts on the No Time to Die trailer, ladies and gents. Um, as per usual, uh, thanks for coming along. Uh, I'd like to say don't forget to go and follow me on YouTube for a start so um, don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload any of my videos ladies and gents and also don't forget to go and follow me on all of my socials so I've got Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook I think that's everything 
and uh, yeah, let's uh, and don't forget to bang down in the comments below what you thought of this trailer and are you really looking forward to No Time to Die? But that's about it for me, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the trailer, and I shall see you in a bit.